Welcome to the Two Minute Tuesday brought to you by The Workshop. My name is T. And I'm Scott. Scott, you and I today hopefully will be able, within the next couple of minutes, explain exactly what Firestone Lager tastes like. Awesome. Do you, uh, are you a, a lager fan there, Scott? Not really. Yeah, I'm not really a lager fan either. So, do you like Bud Light? Hit mm, miss. Hit miss, yeah. Well, when I'm at also, the river, when I'm at the river or something like that, I'll drink Bud Light. Super hot water? Yeah. You, you're, you're drinking the wrong water. Yeah, it's good for hydration. So, <laughs> I'm hoping that Firestone is not the same product that is. Me too. Uh, so, fun fact about Firestone Walker, Firestone of the Firestone Walker is actually the great-grandson of... Firestone Tires? <laughs> you nailed it. Really? He's absolutely wow. the great-grandson. Hope so it they, doesn't taste like rubber. Oh, I hope not either. <laughs> so, the, the, the Firestone Walker Brewery actually started on the Firestone Vineyard, which the father owned. Uh, it... They started brewing the Firestone Lager, which is actually pretty famous now. So this is a 4.5% lager, which is about on par with the Bud Lights and all those type okay. of things. I'm hoping it doesn't taste like rubber. Me either. Guys, we're about to pop the top on this one, and we'll let you know if it tastes like rubber. We'll be right back. Pop it. So, Scott, we went ahead and poured this, and I, I will tell you this. Like a lot of the workshop rookies, you, you, you. That's what I do. You've got a really... I'm an amateur. You've got what can a, I say? You've got a really big head, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So I have let's, no idea. Let's go ahead and talk real <laughs> quick about how it looks. Uh, aesthetically, I think it does look like a Bud Light. What do you see? Besides that giant head. It could be all... Any of the regular taps you see today. Right. So it could MGD, be any one of them. Cores, yeah. I wouldn't know lights, the difference. Hell, pass. It could be any of those. Let's go ahead and smell it. Maybe that'll help us out. What do you smell, bud? You know what I smell? Say it. Bud Light? Oh, goodness. You smell goodness? I don't smell Bud Light. I smell Bud Light. I don't smell Bud Light. All right. You want to taste it? Yeah. Let's do that. That's golden goodness. I'm surprised you don't have a beer stash on that one, man. I mean, your head was pretty big. I will tell you. Surprisingly, it was pretty good. It's it's not bad. So again, if I was at the river and I was you know floating on a floaty down the river during the the regatta or whatever, and... there in park or whatever, I this is fantastic water. H two O. But this beer actually tastes way better than Bud Light and all those. For sure. I'm going to do another one. I get a lot of crisp cleanness. What are you chasing now? I can pull another one out of my ice chest. <laughs> Scott, on a crush pull scale, what's that? I drink a lot of beer. I'm going to give it a six and a half. A six and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say that this is, for me, probably about a six. Okay. Just because I don't like lagers. I'm not saying the beer is bad, guys. We can peel it out. Let's do it. Guys. Stand by. Oh, really? That's how we do it, Scott. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Two Minute Tuesday brought to you by the workshop. Again, my good. name is T. And I'm Scott. Don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and ring the bell.